Uh, I am Professor Hala Ali Jamaluddin, uh, professors of internal medicine and endocrinology in Faculty of Medicine, uh, Cairo University. Uh, today we will talk about uh, diabetes and pregnancy. First of all, there are certain general uh, management goals that we have to search for it. But before it, we have to know the types of diabetes during pregnancy. First of all, there is pre-existing diabetes, whether it is type 1 or type 2. And the second is the gestational diabetes, which is the type of diabetes deve developing during pregnancy. Uh, we have general management goals for management of diabetic, whether gestational, type 1 or type 2. Uh, because all this for the sake of the mother and the fetus. We have to learn our patients how to maintain a healthy life and glycemic glucose control, normal glycemia, starting from puberty, before conception, uh, during pregnancy, postpartum, all this for the sake of the mother and fetus. Also, we, we have to stress in our patient that during the first trimesters of the pregnancy, it's very, very important to maintain normal glucose level because all the complications of the pregnancy will be equal to what happened to any pregnant women without diabetes. Also, we have to aware our patients that our diabetic patient with pre-existing diabetes that they have they have to do uh, pre uh, pre assessment counseling this counseling to maintain the glycated hemoglobin before planning to pregnancy to make her glycated hemoglobin around 6.5 to prevent the complication of pregnancy, the perinatal uh, mortality, uh, the preeclampsia, and other very important complications. Also, we have in the counseling, uh, preconception counseling, that uh, to examine the fundus to be sure that our patients not suffering from diabetic retinopathy because if she has diabetic retinopathy she has to follow this fundus examination during the first second third trimesters and also one year postpartum to according to the degree of her diabetic retinopathy we have targets to reach during pregnancy as we know that the red cell turnover will be a very high during pregnancy in comparison to non-pregnant women. Therefore, the target of the glycated hemoglobin in the first trimester or second trimester or third trimester will be around to 6 to 6.5 uh, percent. And some guidelines advise to be less than 6 percent but to be sure that the patient will not suffer or the pregnant women will not suffer from uh, hypoglycemia. In patients or in women liable to develop hypoglycemia the target, my targets will be uh, six, uh, uh, less than seven percent to avoid hypoglycemia. Also, the target of the blood pressure during pregnancy must be between 120, 140, over 80 to 90. The glycemic targets, fasting blood sugar must be below 95. One hour postprandial must be below uh, 140. Two hours postprandial must be below 120. These targets are very important for the sake of the mothers, as I mentioned before, and the baby, her baby. Also, 
all the trials showed that if I follow this target, I will decrease the complication of pregnancy from 4% to 1% and I will give the mother a healthy life long during her life. Thank you.